Brad in Pleasant Hills, California writes to me, Paul, thanks for your videos. You're welcome, Brad. I have learned a great deal from them over the past few years as they have allowed me to enjoy music so much more by introducing me to Soundstage. You know, that warms my black heart, truly. Uh, I really appreciate that when something I can do to help people actually makes a difference. That makes me feel great. I love it. Um, my question is, how is Soundstage recorded? Is the Soundstage mixed into the final recording? Or is it done with microphones during the performance? I would love to see a deep dive video of the behind the scenes of how something is recorded. <laughs> I'm not sure I can give you a deep dive in these little five minute things, but it, it, in general, it really depends on what kind of music we're talking about. So the simplest way to uh, explain soundstage would be to start with a live recording of a orchestra. Okay, so let's just, or, or maybe even a smaller group. Let's say that we have a stage here and we've got musicians on the stage and we're gonna put one microphone over the conductor's head. That's a very typical way, or near the conductor. That, so that the microphone hears what the conductor hears. Now, if you do it right, like we do at Octave Recordings or Octave Records, if you will, we use a stereo microphone, typically a boom line which is a two-channel microphone that kind of goes in opposite directions, okay? So one, one's pointing here and one's pointing here, okay? And that microphone picks up the sound stage, the whole three-dimensional image. Then we put little spot mics to make sure that we get the individual players, because a lot of players you know, are too soft or they're too loud or whatever. And the mix engineer, whoever's gonna mix this thing, usually me at Octave Records, will then take the central microphone, the stereo microphone, that's the main signal, and we'll add these spot mics in, and I'll remember where the person was. So over here would be the left guy, maybe it's a trumpet, and over here is the right guy, and it's a clarinet, and then the middle, there's a piano going, right? And I will take the balance control on that microphone and swing it, this one all the way over to the left, swing this one over to the right and put these two left and right center and then maneuver it around to where it sounds right. And part of soundstage is getting the depth, okay? Well, depth comes from not being so close to the microphone. So if I can keep the microphones at a reasonable distance from the player, what happens is you get the direct sound and some of the ambient sound. And that gives us our depth. Okay? Now, if I'm doing it in the studio, I do it the same way, if it's a live performance. If it's not, then you have to use a bit of trickery, but essentially it's the same thing. You pan this to the left, this to the right, this in the middle, you make this louder, softer, and you create this mix, this soundstage mix. So, that's not a deep dive, but it, <laughs> at least to give you an idea of what's going on. Okay? Thanks for the question. Take it easy. Thank you.